Yo, what is going on guys? Zach here. And today I'm gonna to show you how to get bigger arms at home. So everybody wants big arms, right? So we're gonna focus on the biceps and the triceps. So in today's video, I'm gonna show you some exercise examples. And the first thing we're gonna do is target the triceps because simply they're just easier to focus on. So one thing we know is if we don't have equipment, we can take it to the ground. And so we can do push-up variations. If you want to target the triceps, the first tip I have for you is focus on bringing your elbows closer to your body. And what this is going to do is take a lot of the pressure off your shoulders and your chest and put it on those triceps. So that's what we want to target the triceps. So rather than being in a normal push-up position, we're going to bring our arms in. And then we're going to keep our elbows tight to our body and then perform the push-up. So that's exercise number one I want to show you. Close to grip push-up. And one thing you want to focus on is going all the way down. And then when you come up, squeezing those triceps, making sure you lock out at the top and get a full range of motion. And so from here, we want to take it a step further and bring it even closer with diamond push-ups. So for exercise number two, we're gonna do diamond push-ups. So when you do this, you just simply wanna make a diamond, and then you're gonna get in this position, and you want your center, the center of your chest to be over your hands. And what this is gonna do is put more center of gravity over your, uh, over your hands, like I said, and this is going to put more pressure on the triceps. So the further that you come back, the easier it's going to be and the further that you put your midline or center of your body over the harder it's going to be so we really want to make it challenging find a position that's comfortable and go from there and same thing applies we want to go all the way down and then extend all the way and squeeze up the top and so another great floor uh, variation you can do is going to be a tricep extension. So all that is all that is going to look like is you're going to get in that close grip push-up position, and you simply just want to break at the elbow, and go down all the way, and then extend back up. And so, if you want to make it easier, you can lean back. And then to make it more difficult, lean forward to really get that full range of motion and squeeze at the top. And so that is it for the ground variations. So everybody in the house should have at least two chairs. And what you want to do is just simply set your chairs up about shoulder width apart maybe slightly further away and we're going to perform chair dips and what that's going to look like is you're going to get in this position you're going to keep your chest high so you don't want to be slumped over like this you're going to keep your chest high and you just want to hinge at the elbow go down parallel or slightly below and then extend all the way up and squeeze the tricep and one tip to really get more of a squeeze is when you go down and come up, lean back on your triceps and really focus on squeezing. And this is, this is what the exercise is gonna look like. So just like this, <laughs> be careful because the chairs can't flip on you. And then if you wanna make this exercise easier, just simply bring your feet in and you can really spot yourself like this, it's going to take a lot of the weight off and pressure off and make it easier for you if you're not strong enough. And then since we have the chairs here, I want to show you guys one more variation. You just simply want to turn the chairs this way. And we're going to simulate a dip on the parallel bars. So when you do this, be mindful that the chair, if you don't position yourself right, the chairs can flip over. So be careful, 
But what we want to do is the exact same thing that I just showed you. Is go all the way down, hinge at the elbows, go parallel or just below, and go all the way up to the top and squeeze. And so we're focusing on our triceps. So what you want to do is keep your chest high. If we wanted to work our chest, we'd lean over a little bit. But since we're targeting our triceps specifically, we're going to keep our chest high and really isolating. And one thing, another thing to keep in mind on any dip exercise is you don't want your ears and your elbows to become close. And you don't want, so you don't want to be hunched over like this. This puts you in a bad position. So you want to depress your scapula just like this and really separate your ear and your shoulder. Really separate and that puts you in a healthier position. And that is it for triceps. Or guys, targeting the biceps, if you don't have any equipment, can be tough. But if you do have a wall, you can work your biceps. So I'm gonna show you how. So what you wanna do is just find a wall and we're gonna simply curl our leg. So in this position, obviously, we're not gonna be able to curl our leg up. We're just not that flexible. So what you're gonna do is bend over and you're gonna put yourself in this position. This is gonna allow you to get a greater range of motion. And this simulates a concentration curl or a preacher curl. So what you wanna do is just grab your ankle, get over in that bent over position, and you're just gonna simply curl your leg. The one thing to note is you want to uh, lock your tricep out at the bottom to get to ensure that you get that full range of motion. And then you want to curl all the way up as far as you can. And then you want to squeeze that bicep for a few seconds and then slow down the eccentric. So slow down the navel portion of that movement. And that is a great exercise that you can do at your home with no equipment. Okay, so for the next exercise, all you're gonna do is find a doorway. So you just need a doorway and you're gonna use the casing or the trim on the door to do a curl. And so what we wanna do is keep our arm up and keep it parallel with the ground. And so when you do this, you don't want your back to take over and do the uh, movement for you. So you really wanna isolate that bicep and focus on curling up and really squeezing at the top and then extending all the way and get that full range of motion. And on this, when you curl up, you wanna supinate your wrist. So all that simply means is you're gonna twist your wrist this way. And if you notice, if you do a curl with your hands in this position, you're not getting uh, as much bicep activation. You're really working in that forearm and that uh, bicep brachialis more. And so, when you supinate your wrist, you see how much more bicep activation we're getting rather than just doing this. So that's what you want to focus on. And then in order to make this exercise uh, easy or difficult, it's going to depend on the angle of your body. So the more vertical you are, the easier it's going to be. And the more that you walk down and get horizontal or lower to the ground, the harder it's gonna be. So find a position that's comfortable to you, to you and then go from there. I made it outside. What you're gonna do is find a tree or a post and you're simply gonna wrap the towel around and it's gonna simulate a curl and we're just gonna use our body weight. So once you wrap the towel around, you really wanna focus on keeping your arms high and keeping them, in, keeping them parallel with the ground this way we can focus on the biceps. We don't want our back to take over. So you're just gonna simply wrap it around, get your arms in that fixed position. And then same thing applies as the curl on the door casing. You're just gonna, uh, if you wanna make it difficult, you just walk this exercise down. And so here we can do curls with a towel. And so one thing to note is get a full range of motion. Curl all the way up to the top and squeeze for a few seconds and then slow down the eccentric, so the negative portion. And really work those biceps. So guys, there you have it. 
that is a few exercises that you can do if you have no equipment and you can use just stuff you have around the house and your own body weight. So just get creative and you can still build a good body. So I hope this video was helpful. If it was, go ahead and drop a like. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks for watching.